Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Kibble Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs episode 11 and today we are starting off with Airwing Mark 1 by Weltrum Katar. And I've probably mispronounced your name so I'm just going to call you Simon. So, um, as you can see this design is definitely small but it is very easy to maneuver and it is very small. <laughs> and I said that twice. So yeah, I actually um, changed it around a little bit by adding some RAM air intakes, a whole bunch of them, the duplicated amount to make sure that this thing is high altitude flying. And I'm not too sure, but I may have changed the jet engine. I think it wasn't. A, I think it was a basic jet engine, but I might be wrong. Um. So yeah, and also I really like to thank you guys for the support you've been giving me for the past, I don't know, three videos or something. Ever since I started the pre-recording thing, uh, I was a bit worried that you guys wouldn't like it, but it it turns out. It's really good for me because at night time when everyone's asleep, like recording will be very noisy. So what I usually do, obviously I just record the video without me speaking and then I pre-record when I do have about, you know, 15 minutes time or something to quickly talk um, over the video. So that turns out very well. And here we go, a bit of re-entry heat. And I really wanted to save this aircraft and the amazing Kerbal that was inside it, whoever that was. Well, I, can't I can barely read it. Anyway, so this is how I did it. And I'm surprised we actually made it. Everything just smashes except for the pod. <laughs> the capsule. So, uh, this design here is for D-2 Mark VI by Craig. And as you can see there, um, I accidentally uh, went off the runway. And the reason why that happened was because I quickly went to another screen, I was watching a video on YouTube and <laughs> while doing this and um, I, come, I came back to Kibble Space Program and there I was off the runway so but I did make it and as you can see here this design quickly famed out I didn't modify it at all I don't think I modified it from memory um, but yeah this design ha has a few problems because of the the iron engines on the sides of the wings it's a bit shaky but as you can you can barely see anything because I'm fast forwarding too much. But yeah, it's a bit shaky, and I'd suggest to have the the ion engines more close to the body of the whatever rocket or jet you have. So this design is by Yop Solo DS, and he, he even has the pronunciation written down here. He has it Yop Dash Solo DS. So that's pretty interesting. He knew I couldn't say it, and you know, well done helping me out there. So this design is either called Sirocco 2 or Daguet. I believe it's called Daguet. And I did adjust it. I added some RAM air intakes because I wanted to see how high this thing could go and how fast of course. And it's okay. I mean it could have went faster if it was a smaller design but it is heavy and big and a few pointless wings here and there. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I ordered a new microphone as well, a uh, headset really, with a good microphone, I think. I have I watched a few reviews, and it will be coming in the mail, I believe, in either two weeks time or next week. So, I'm waiting on that. So, of it, with this design, it is okay. Um, there aren't really any problems, other than if you smash it, then there will be a problem, because it won't work anymore. <laughs> And I've been having a lot of fun with the game. You know, it, it's good to take a break every now and then. So this design, I do believe this is Soroko then. Siroko, I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure if it's meant to be said in a certain way. Because I'm not too sure if this guy's from overseas or not. You know, everyone's from France or, you know, Greek, Greece or something. So everyone says things differently. But yeah, this, this thing flamed out. It only has a couple radial air intakes, I believe about four. And let's see if I actually saved the Kerbal for this design. I probably didn't. I don't remember saving them. Wait. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect landing. <laughs> Yay. And, um, yeah, lately I've been doing a lot of rant and things in the game. Yeah, I was a little bit bored, so I was playing around with the Kerbal and decided to see exactly where this Kerbal was in space. Yay, from space. So this design is called UFO 2. It is by Caden. Now originally the staging that he had was a bit weird. I'm not too sure if, if he did it deliberately or not. 
but I fixed it up and what you're seeing now is the fixed up version. Yeah, for this I just really wanted to see exactly how the re-entry heat would fare up to this design and how it would work. But of course there are problems with a spinning with spinning parts because well, there are I don't think there were any struts on this design, so any part would just come flying off as you could see, and here I go here I was just checking out the smoke trails press spacebar, everything decoupled, and everything has a parachute, and that's what I wasn't too sure was deliberate or not. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, that is it for this episode, and see you next time. Bye.